Hello and welcome to Finextra. I'm Hannah Wallace and today we're in Dublin for EBA Day 2017 and joining me is Harry Newman from SWIFT. We're going to be talking about cross-border payments. Harry, thank you very much for joining us today. You're welcome. What are the two main challenges banks are facing at the moment in the area of cross-border payments? So I think the main challenges are that, and firstly, Cross-border banking is a, and cross-border payments is a child of the 1980s, this, this service, and it's worked very well for a long time. But it's not really, in all honesty, of a, of a level of standard that the corporate clients today want. It doesn't deliver the predictability and the transparency that clients in today's world want. So that's the first main challenge. The second I would highlight is that you have to provide cross-border payments, ubiquity, you have to be able to reach everybody. Same time, from a compliance perspective, I can't afford to run a relationship with everybody. I can only afford to run a relationship with a certain number of people, depending on the size of my business. And that means that we inevitably have a, a set of links across the world to be able to reach everybody, because uh, my client decides who I have to make a payment to. So I think these are the two key challenges facing the industry at the moment. How is SWIFT's role in cross-border payments evolving? And how are banks' approaches to collaboration shifting in light of all of this change? So our role is really to, to bring this, the banks together in correspondent banking because globally around the world there isn't a, a market infrastructure, a payment system, the kind of thing you would see domestically. And, and in a sense, internationally, that is what SWIFT is. So it's our role to come to work together with the banks and bring these new solutions to life in, in correspondent banking. And as we, as we develop new technologies and new services, our role shifts into being a, a collaboration driver and an innovator to actually enable these solutions to be, to be put into place, with working with the banks. And in terms of the, the, the banks um, uh, coming together and collaborating more, well, nobody has all the answers to, to what the modern age requires. Collaboration is key not just between the banks and us, but between us, the banks, the fintechs, uh, the national authorities, to actually make a better service. And that's actually what the corporates need, because at the end of the day, all of this, nobody gets out of bed and say, I want to make a payment. They get out of bed and say, I'd like to do some business. And then they have to make a payment. So the payments are about doing stuff, and it's all about providing corporates with a better, more predictable, more transparent service at the end of the day, fitting the age. Harry, thank you very much for joining us today. You're very welcome. And thank you for watching.